hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're an old subscriber thank you for coming back if you're new welcome to my channel my name is kylie and yeah i make content relating to careers to school to um lifestyle to fashion beauty yeah <laughs> i do many things if that's something you may be interested in please do definitely subscribe to my channel Without further ado, I'm gonna get straight into today's video, which is a collaboration with Fast Rate Tutors. Fast Rate Tutors, hey, Tutors, wow. Fast Rate Tutors is a study channel for GCSE and A level students. Um, I definitely recommend it if you are in your GCSEs, if you're doing your GCSEs, or if you are an, or if you are an A level student. I don't know if I've mentioned it on here before. I didn't do my GCSE, but I did the international version, which is the IGCSE. And then I did my AS and I did my A-level. So this is a really exciting partnership because I feel like I've been neglecting my younger audience. So hopefully this video will be of use. Also, please do go follow Fast Rate Tutors. They've put together for me five questions, which I'll be answering in case you see me looking down. I'm just looking at the questions. So I'm going to read them out and then answer them. So the first question is, what inspired you to start your YouTube channel? This is a very interesting question um, because I just progressed from blogging to YouTube. But I think that doesn't quite answer the question. I think the, the main thing in this question is like, what's inspired me to run this YouTube channel? So I'll sort of <laughs> change it to answer my own question, which guys don't do in the exam. But yeah. Um, Right now, the reason why, my why is, you know, helping people um, reach their full potential, inspiring people, and that's my reason for doing so. Trying to assist people in gaining scholarships, in getting career opportunities, and just sharing the, the knowledge, whether little or not, that I have, and just using it to, you know, impact other people's lives positively. The second question is, you got a place at, you got a place in LSE, on a Chevening scholarship, which is extremely competitive. What three tips would you have for future students who are keen to get a scholarship? Um, okay, this is a good question. I think the three main things I'd, I'd say, because I'm trying to imagine when I was doing my year 11 or my year 13, at that point in time, I definitely encourage you to work on getting good grades. Work on the grades. Um, work on the grades. I know grades are not everything, but they do actually play a big role they really help if you have good grades they really really help and the second thing i'd say is get involved with extracurricular activity the third tip and be is do your research look out for universities that offer scholarships um or maybe identify the universities you want to apply to and then go on their website see if they offer scholarships for undergraduates or look out for influencers who have gotten scholarships to do the undergraduates, just try and find out more about them. Um, I can recommend Angelic Culture who got funding to study at LSE. There is V Kativu who got funding to study at Oxford. So just, there's so many, just look out for um, YouTubers who have taken that route. My third question is, studying a master's in corporate commercial law isn't easy. What did you do to maximize your productivity and what hacks do you have for people on demanding courses to balance school with other commitments? So I'd say, yeah, it's definitely tough, but you have to be very organized for it to work. Um, so I'd say get a diary or a plan of some sorts and then to prioritize your time. So. You need to know what matters most and spend the most time on that. And then you can allocate the time that you have left to these other things. Um, also be smart about like managing your time. So for instance, like I um, I knew that exams at LSE are at the end of the year. So I managed to, or I tried as hard as I could to do everything um, extra co-curricular related in the first term because I knew then my there were no exams to be graded at that point. So I used that time to do all these other things so that come um, Lent term, which is now the term where just preceding um, exams, I would be like good to go. The, the fourth question is, has going to a famous university been what you expected? Ah, uh, yes. 
yes it has been and the second bit of the question is what misconceptions do you have that you now realizing were wrong about studying at LSE so one I didn't realize how international LSE was I thought it was like the Uxbridges and you know it's gonna find like preppy really like rich or British kids which is not the case it's quite um, diverse there's lots of international kids but then again I think in terms of social economic status um, there's still a lot more work to be done to provide access to students who are minorities particularly when it comes to masters because um, I guess you know thinking about taking a loan for masters you think twice because it's not it's not cheap so yeah there's a lot more to be done in that extent <laughs> I thought everyone was an investment banker at LSE. I thought it was just a school for like economics because you know that's what's in the name. But then I'm coming to learn they're actually really good at other courses. So things that have to do with like development courses. So social sciences, they're actually like I think top three in the world for social sciences. Or is it top in Europe? Um, something like that. But they're really, really good for social sciences in the world, which is something that I didn't really know. About. The next question is, what is your advice for ex-students struggling to adapt to the real world after university? Wow, this is a really good question. Um, it is something I'm still trying to figure out as well. I remember after I finished my undergraduate, I did actually go into something I like to call post, postgraduate anxiety. Um, you know, just not knowing what next and getting jobs is so hard. Um, my advice to maybe I'll break it down into steps. So if you are still in university, I'd advise you to start thinking about the future, especially if you're in third year. Uh, maybe start thinking about the type of jobs you want to apply to. And if you're studying law, start thinking about it in second year because you need to be applying for your vacation schemes in second year. That is what I wish someone told me. There are people who have training contracts secured in second year. You just have to be on it. Um, and then if you end up like me maybe who has you've already graduated and you're stuck in a rut i think it's just having a plan and also being willing to be open-minded so i'm gonna use law as an example you need to be open-minded like say yes you may want to work as a trainee at the top magic circle law firms but you need to gain experience if you didn't secure those training contracts or those vacation schemes while you are while you are in university, then what you need to do now is working on building other experience. So for instance, instead you could think about getting a paralegal role and that's another route many people take. Actually, um, not everyone gets lucky, you know, to get the training contract in their second year. Um, there are people who have to take other routes and that's fine. That doesn't make them any less than or mean that they are better than the other people it just means that everyone's path is different so don't give up just because your plan hasn't worked out in a certain time um, instead just try and now work on what next and maybe you could even take another route maybe you could apply to a bank or to an audit firm or to another place first and then end up convert and do what you want to do or you may even end up doing that and discover actually this is what i want to do as my career not what i was thinking so just hang in there don't give up don't lose hope um look for content creators that inspire you online reach out to them work on your linkedin account and you know just be hopeful i've really enjoyed answering this question so this video is going to be up on my channel and also on fast rate tutel so do again check them out i Apologize again in case the quality of this video is not great. Um, I'm just working with what I have. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Love and light. Bye.